Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another 5 minute build showcase for Destiny 2. I just want to thank everyone for the support this series is getting and do make sure you leave suggestions to builds you want to see in the comment section below. In today's build we are featuring the Void Titan with the Armamentarium exotic chess piece, an exotic that you hardly ever see being used but helps make a pretty insane build. The setup allows for constant overshield to both you and your teammates with infinite grenades, resistance and healing, and huge ad clearing. Kicking off the build, we have the Ward of Dawn super ability to lean into the survivability support side of the build, granting us both overshields and weapons of light for 25% damage buff to weapons. We are going to be rocking Rally Barricade since it's easier to shoot around and it's got a shorter cooldown. Also, Shield Bash is a must for producing an on-demand overshield and for its movement capabilities. When it comes to the grenade, I've chosen to go for the Vortex Grenade to clear out as many ads as possible. Speaking of grenades, we get two of them with our exotic, Armamentarium. This may be one of the simplest Titan exotics with its perk and another thing, yet it's really going to tie the whole build together. Do bear in mind that this build will work wonders with Heart of Inmost Light, but let's be honest, that exotic is extremely overused. Now for aspects, we have Bastion, casting your barricade grants an overshield to you and your allies and empowers it to slowly regenerate overshields of anyone bunkering behind it. This is why we went for Rally Barricade, to have as many overshields as possible. Our second aspect is Offensive Bulwark and this will play hand in hand with our first aspect. While you have an overshield or inside Ward of Dawn, your grenades charge significantly faster and your melee is enhanced. With this aspect and armamentarium, we are sure to always have a grenade available, and with some mods, our grenades will loop back into barricade energy. In this build, we have three fragments to choose from, first of which will enhance our grenades. Echo of Expulsion will grant void ability final blows extra explosions, increasing our ad clear potential. Our second fragment, Echo of Instability, will grant volatile rounds to void weapons when getting grenade final blows. These volatile rounds are insane when paired with a good void SMG like Funnel Web. The setup I like to go for is a Funnel Web with a subsistence perk and a Taipan 4FR which can deal a lot of damage to bosses and champions when paired with volatile rounds, weapons of light and font of might. Our last fragment is Echo of Starvation to grant us Devour when picking up orbs of power. This will help us regen our actual health when being protected by overshields and we can easily sustain the effect once it's been activated. This build already grants us constant overshields and grenades with some damage buffs, but to really elevate the build to endgame status, we need to equip our mods. The mod setup we are using are Elemental Wells for their ability regen and easily acquired passive benefits. To create Elemental Wells, you have two options, either a combination of Elemental Ordnance and Armaments, or Elemental Ordnance and Bountiful Wells, which is what I personally use. These wells will trigger both Font of Might for a buff to weapon damage and Well of Tenacity for damage resistance. They will also be affected by the mod Seeking Wells so we can keep gameplay smooth. For minor mods you'll want to equip Harmonic Siphon where rapid final blows with void weapons will create orbs of power. This will help us activate Devour at a consistent rate. I'll also be equipping a copy of Ashes to Assets for super energy on grenade final blows since we are going to have an endless supply of grenades. When it comes to the arms, you can equip bolstering detonation mods for class ability energy when causing damage of grenades. If you're in endgame content however, you can just equip whatever champion mods you need for the activity. This season we do have overload rounds for SMGs, which works great with this setup. On our chest armor, I'll be equipping the new seasonal resistance mods, energy diffusion substrate, and two bomber mods for grenade cooldown when using our class ability. If you are playing an activity solo, make sure you use the solo operative seasonal mod in the class armor slot for a 15% damage buff to everything, stacking with all other effects in the game. I found this build to be an amazing Heart of Inmost Light alternative for Void Titan with a constant supply of grenades and overshields. Paired with the damage resistance we get, we end up being almost unkillable, dealing a huge amount of DPS with volatile rounds, weapons of light, font of might, and solo operative. This build is perfect for both solo and group content, whether you're in Legend or Master Lost Sectors, Dungeons, Master or Grandmaster Nightfalls, or even for completing runs of the seasonal activity. As always, I'll leave a dim link in the description, and if you enjoyed this build showcase, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more Destiny content every week, and I'll see you in the next one.